Brothers and sisters, to those who are here in person, watching on YouTube or Facebook, or here on the conference line, good morning and happy Sabbath. How is everybody doing today? It is an honor and a privilege to be here in the house of the Lord. Before we begin, I'd like to thank Fuas Alna for that special song. Today I'm going to be talking about God choosing you. But before I begin my sermon, let us pray because we can't do anything without prayer. Please bow your heads and close your eyes. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for everything that you've done for us. We thank you for waking us up this morning and bringing us here to the church safely. I please ask that you bless me and help so that your word can flow through me smoothly. Please bless the pastor and everybody here. Please help everybody fighting COVID and the people in the hospital. And we ask all of this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The title for my sermon is The Chosen One. To start, can everyone please open your Bibles to 1 Samuel 16, verse 10 to 12? And it reads, Again Jesse made seven of his sons to pass before Samuel. And Samuel said unto Jesse, The Lord hath not chosen these. And Samuel said unto Jesse, Are here all thy children? And he said, There remaineth yet the youngest. And behold, he keepeth the sheep. And Samuel said unto Jesse, Send and fetch him, for we will not sit down till he come hither. And he sent and brought him in. Now he was ruddy and a withal of beautiful countenance and goodly to look to. And the Lord said, Arise, anoint him, for this is he. What does it mean to be chosen? The dictionary says being chosen is being one who is the object of choice or divine favor. But I think being chosen means to be selected because someone sees great potential in you. Being chosen is an opportunity, not a bad thing, especially when God chooses you to do his work. Today I'm going to be talking about being chosen by our Father in heaven. As you all know, David was a small boy. He was a shepherd and spent his days taking care of sheep. All of his brothers were in the army while he stayed home and watched the animals. David was the youngest out of all of his brothers. I also feel like he was neglected too, because when Samuel wanted to choose who was to take over for King Saul, it wasn't even until Samuel asked Jesse if these were all of his sons that he remembered that he had David too. God knows each one of us. Even though David was small, God saw the potential in him. God does not look at appearances, age, or wealth, but he looks at your heart. People may neglect you, but God will always be there for you. He believes in you and has a plan for you. You also have to trust him because when God chose David, David trusted in God and didn't back out. David wasn't scared because he knew God was with him, so of course they would win. Sometimes we as Christians want to do things, but we don't want people to judge us. We pay more attention to what other people think than what God wants us to do. When I was told to preach, I didn't want to do it because I was afraid that I would be judged. I then remembered we don't need to focus on what other people say or think about us because whatever we're doing, it's for God. When David was chosen, his father didn't think he could do it, but he knew that God had faith in him, so he went. So even if our family or friends doubt us, we don't need to listen to them because we aren't doing it for them. Remember that when everyone is against you, God will always be there for you. Let us open our Bibles to Colossians 3, verse 23. And it reads, And whatsoever ye do, do it heartily, as to the Lord, and not unto men. Brothers and sisters, what does this verse tell us? This verse tells us to work for God and not for men. So the next time when they ask you to do scripture reading, think, I'm not doing it for people, I'm doing it for God. When they tell you to do Youth Corner, don't decline, do it for God. When they ask you to do tithes and offerings, do it for God. Now, we all know that David was chosen, but today in 2021, we all are chosen by God, and we need to bring out our inner David. It doesn't matter if we're young or old, rich or poor. It doesn't matter if we're scared or think that people would judge us. God knows that we are limitless, and we can do anything through Christ who strengthens us. Daniel wasn't scared, Joseph wasn't scared, and David wasn't scared. So what's stopping you? Youth of MDO, God gave you talents, so use them. Don't let them go to waste. God has done a lot for us and will continue to do a lot for us. So let's show our gratitude by praising him, sharing the gospel, and working for him. 
We cannot just come to church and not get involved in anything. Most of us are talented at something, so let's try and use our talents and abilities for the Lord. Deuteronomy 31 verse 6 says, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them, for the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Just like I was chosen to preach today, you all are chosen to work for God. May the Lord continue to bless you all. <laughs>